Hi, friends. The world got you down. Don't be sad. Listen to $2 Late Fee with Zach and Dustin. $2 Late Fee is the podcast that celebrates the best decade of entertainment, the 1980s. We pick a movie and soundtrack from our youth that we loved and see if it holds up today. We also interview your favorite celebrities from that era. All in the spirit of positivity and togetherness. Check us out at $2LateFee.com. I'm 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 feeling a little better. That's, I'm feeling a little better. You're still here. You're still in I'm the land of the living. Alive. Wouldn't you that suck it. if like this goes up and like the next day Dylan dies? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. You're still here. You're still <laughs> here. He did it. Fucking Matt killed Dylan. Do you know, like, let's let let me be honest. Do you know how hard it is to get into the Christmas spirit when it's 95 degrees Dude. outside? <laughs> so I feel you, man. And that's Look, we're gonna watch we're gonna watch some real shit for July, and I apologize yeah. in advance, dude. We got to do something, man, because I don't know about everybody else uh, out there in the world, but dude, it's fucking hot, and it's and way too to, hot. To give you a peek into Matt and my lives, both of our ACs are, are malfunctioning, so it's not like the best situation. It's it not like hot. horrible. Like, it's not it's, horrible. Like like mine's tapping out at seventy eight right now, which it's like yeah. not ideal, but like at least it's not like hitting the same temperature as outside. Like no, if it that's... was like ninety when I came into this house, I would just I would pay every thousandth of a dollar that needs to be paid to get that shit fixed today. Dude, I got home and and I opened the door and was just like something's not right yes yeah, that's <laughs> so it's not right it's and always I when looked, i'm away from home yep, though i'm house sitting exactly, and every yeah. time i'm like away from my house for an extended period of time i come back and i'm like oh the basement's starting to flood <laughs> like yeah. oh this thing's happening it's it's fucking annoying anyway yeah. so we're gonna not talk about christmas theoretically today yeah we're gonna yeah. talk about tv shows that we love that never got a Christmas episode that we kind of think is a bummer that there's no Christmas episode of yeah, that show. Yeah, and, and you are definitely going to take the reins on this because I thought of one big one and then I did some, I, I, I had to Google it because honestly, a lot of my favorite shows have Christmas episodes. So I feel like I've been fortunate enough to have that. But there's one on my mind that I'm thinking of that I think would have would have had a great Christmas episode and as as much research as I've done, they didn't do it. And other people have said the same thing. And then there's one show that, like, when I Googled, like, what Christmas, what shows don't have Christmas episodes? Somebody suggested this one. And I'm like, that's a good fucking idea. So, so go for it. Well, the other thing that's worth pitching is, like, there is, so, like, Gilmore Girls, for okay. example, falls into this weird category where like they maybe debatably had a Christmas episode, but like they have a lot of wintry episodes and it's like, so we're, we're aiming for specifically this was like a very special Christmas episode. Okay. Right. All right. Like, like, I can get behind that. Like, let's just stick with that because like, let's not get too tied into like stuff. That's the TV show equivalent of like die hard as a Christmas movie where it's like the episode just happens to take place around Christmas time, but it's not like, yeah, like we, yeah, yeah, when, yeah. when you think of a Christmas episode, you know, the beats that you're anticipating. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> so like if there's just a Christmas tree in the background of something, but like it's okay. never acknowledged and it's just establishing what time of the month that episode is taking place. 
I don't think right. that counts. So if anyone okay. comes at us for that, that, so I'll start with this. I'm okay. going to cheat with a two and one, yeah. but I, I think it counts. Okay. As far as I remember, neither short lived Judd Apatow show had a Christmas episode. So we never got a Freaks and Geeks or undeclared Christmas episode. I, and that would have been really cool, especially Freaks and Geeks, like for yeah. being that time period that it's set in. Uh, that would have been really cool. Yeah. Yeah, because we got a Halloween episode for sure, but I don't remember. I'm going to search Freaks and Geeks Christmas episode. Okay. Well, that auto filled. So that's weird. Um, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> The Little Things. Let's see. Was it, I, I mean, I don't remember this being a Christmas episode. It aired in July 8th of 2000. The high school prepares for a visit from Vice President Bush. Okay. Real Christmassy. Screams, screams yeah. Christmas spirit I, to I me. Think that, I think that hits the the thing that you were just talking about, where I'm sure it takes place at Christmas. But is there enough Christmas, honestly? Not yeah. really. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one other thing real quick, just okay, to make sure that it. our research is thorough. Yep. On the Freaks and Geeks wiki fandom page for this episode if you search the word christmas there are zero results found so yes oh, nice. okay. freaks and geeks definitely had no christmas episode and undeclared which is a show i love i would have loved to have seen christmas at the college campus you know that's what i mean the, like, that's the one that i need to watch again i own both sets um i remember watching freaks and geeks a lot more than i watched undeclared but i do need to i need to i've seen them both but i need to sit down and rewatch undeclared because i don't remember enough of it honestly yeah i mean they're both very good shows in very different ways uh freaks and geeks is way has way more heartfelt moments in yeah. them uh than undeclared ever did but undeclared has given me some real laugh out loud moments in my life. Yeah. Uh, so how about you? What's, what's one right, that's on so, your list? So I'm going to, I'm going to give you the main one I came with, and then I'm going to cheat a little bit and talk about TV shows that I wish had uh, TV shows or maybe franchises that I wish had better Christmas episodes. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Okay. So the one that doesn't have one that I'm shocked because I feel like it sets up perfectly for a Christmas episode is Gravity Falls. Okay. Gravity Falls is a cartoon for those of you who don't know is a brilliant show about a, a pair of siblings who are working for their uncle's oddity shop in the middle of the woods and basically there I think there's only two seasons and they go on adventures and they basically track down cryptids and there's is an overarching story but kind of every episode's about a different cryptid so I feel like it would have been really cool to have these two siblings either hunting for Santa Claus or or maybe I, I know you're a huge fan of Krampus. So maybe like we have them hunt down Krampus or something like that. And you can even do a little spin on it as I was searching around because I did the same thing you did this morning um, where I was like, did Gravity Falls have a Christmas episode? Am I going yeah. nuts? And there were people talking about like, here's how we could have done it. Here's how they could have done it. You could have uh mabel who is the girl sibling who's a little goofier than than the boy kind of set it up and she's trying to throw this christmas in july party and she's like us bro she's trying yeah. to get it's fucking christmas yeah. all right we're getting together yeah i'm gonna and, get and, past this heat wave with with exactly. dreams of hot cocoa by the fire during a wintry day <laughs> exactly and i'm just i am shocked that we never got a christmas episode of gravity falls have you seen gravity falls i have not i actually haven't seen most of those shows i haven't seen like that's fun adventure time i haven't seen the regular show and i know okay. that i would love those shows i would but... say uh gravity falls i in my opinion even though i'm a bigger fan of i i i don't want to say i'm a bigger fan i can quote regular show more than um gravity falls i would say gravity falls is an overall better show so and honestly, I, I like Gravity Falls more than Adventure Time, although I feel like Adventure Time hit on some things that like cartoons were not hitting on at the time. But I, I, I highly recommend at least Gravity Falls and Adventure Time. My one thing with regular show and at times Adventure Time is they got very 
this is random. It, <laughs> aren't we funny? Like, do you yeah. remember that time period where we're like, it's bacon band aids. That's fun. Yeah. Like, all that yeah. shit. That was that uh, random humor from back in the day. Yeah, I don't that miss was, random was humor. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither, man. Um, so, so the thing is, most of the shows that I love had not just one, but many Christmas yeah. episodes. So the other perspective that I took, I like that your idea was like shows that you wish had gotten better ones. Yeah. Mayan is, is, a few of the ones that I leaned into was like, as I was Googling shows that never had Christmas episodes. Yeah. Um, it was stuff where it's like, you know what? I have no real emotional attachment to this show, but it would have been fun to watch an episode for the podcast. Um, yeah. And with that in mind, in all of the th- hundreds and hundreds of seasons, there is apparently no Christmas episode for Star Trek, which really? I think would have been fun for for you especially because you and i are such diehard star wars guys yeah but like and not know what the fuck is going on because i mean i know enough i have like a weird nostalgia for next gen even though i never like i've watched all of next gen because it was on netflix i i think for me next gen gives me this warm fuzzy feeling of the show that I would usually watch the last 10 minutes of waiting for the Simpsons to come on Fox. Like, because that was what was always on right before like the 7 PM Fox. Do you so wanna like, know, do you want to know my connection to that? What is it? Is it's always the show that came on after Monday night raw. There you go. Like, See, like the <laughs> so yeah, there is, I'm there's, there for that. There, so it'd be like, you know what? Like I've watched that entire series. It's not for me, but I don't hate it. Yeah. But I would have loved to be like, oh, you know what? They did have a Christmas episode. Yeah. Like, let's just watch one of those bad boys out of context because it's not like I hate watching it. It's just not. I'm not the audience for those types no. of shows. No, but I like the I characters. Like yeah. Some of them are funny. Like I've laughed at some episodes. It's good. I mean, the show's been around since the 60s for a reason. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so I have not seen Star Trek anything all the way through. I think my oh. my biggest exposure to Star Trek is two things. One, Galaxy Quest. Like that's yeah. <laughs> that's that's my main exposure to Star Trek cuz that's Same. all it is. It's a spoof of that. And fanboys. Like so, the little parts of fanboys that that so, talk Star Trek. I've watched every episode or at least have had every episode on in the background at some point of the original series next gen and deep space nine he's like i'm not the target audience but i have watched three different fucking series of because i kept because everyone i know there's so many people who love that show and i was like i feel like i'm missing something i don't get it man but you know what like again start like where are my space wizards and their swords so like laser swords the original series it is what it is it's cheap whatever yeah next gen and deep space nine are very soothing background shows. Like I could see myself getting to a point where like right now, uh, Gilmore girls has become like my background noise while I'm falling asleep. Um, I need to rewatch that. But I think like, like you just did. Yeah. I think Frasier and like star Trek next gen and deep space nine are all equally like good shows for that as well. Cause it's like, you need if you're going to fall asleep with the TV on, you need a show that's not going to have a ton of peak. It's peaks and valleys. It needs to have yeah. like that kind of just like Bruh! steady hum. No. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, like my brother tried to fall asleep to Simpsons episodes and he's like, I can't do it because every time I'm to sleep, there's a line that makes me laugh and it wakes yeah. me up for another 20 minutes. It's so like, like we, we all have that memory of falling asleep with the TV on and waking up to a girl's gone wild fucking ad because for me it was so the pure fucking moods. loud <laughs> for me yeah that too hey, uh, hey. <laughs> return to innocence <laughs> hey you've never seen 18 year olds like this and <laughs> Yeah, why wasn't there a Girls Going Wild Christmas episode? That... Dude, Girls Going Wild Christmas episode. That's what we needed. That's got to be out there. I'm not Googling it, but nope, you can. No, nope, <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm still trying to figure out refrigerant for my AC unit. Uh, all right, so yeah, so, so Star Trek. I think Star Trek, we right. could have had a fun episode. I'm going to go into another one that um, someone suggested online as I was I was trying to research for this. Um, and it's a show that I haven't seen every episode of, but I'm, I'm, I'm taking their word for it. 
a Game of Thrones Christmas episode. I, I, so I'm wondering if fun. we're looking at the same list. We probably were because I think that's that they also mentioned Star Trek. Yeah. So so Game of Thrones. Dude, winter was coming, man. So that means Santa was on his way too. <laughs> Santa's, no, but then they fell into a situation where it was always winter but never Christmas like Relying oh. K had warned us about. Oh, so, <laughs> that song makes me so sad. <laughs> no, I was thinking about that because I like Game of Thrones. It's a fun yeah. enough show. I was like, man, there really isn't a Christmas episode of that no. shit because like talk about a wild, you know, one of the podcasts I used to do my favorite episode of was all about just watching a random episode of TV out of context, yeah. essentially, man, talk about a show where it's like, at least I've seen everything. If, if like a random episode of the last season had a Christmas episode, I'm just like, here, Dylan, watch this. Half that episode <laughs> would be me being like, all right, so here's what happened for seven and a half seasons to well, lead us like, to this Christmas episode. <laughs> I've like, seen, you guys know my viewing habits at this point. I've seen the first season of Game of Thrones at least five times. I'm sure. Sh- <laughs> so because I'd be like, we need to start this shit yeah, from the you beginning. Fall off. I don't remember. All this. See, and and that actually blows my mind because I didn't watch Game of Thrones until they were just about to air the last season. Yeah, and I borrowed some friends' DVDs to watch it, and like I was like canceling plans to see what happened next. I was like yeah. so so invested. So the idea that you like got through season one and was like. All right. Like so so this was the story was I borrowed my friend's copy of season 1 while she was in Japan. And I put off watching it for most of the time that she was in Japan and then decided to start it like 2 days before she came back from Japan. And we were going to ha- meet her for for like a welcome back celebration. Yeah. And I was like, shit, let me at least finish the season so I can give it to her. And spoilers for anybody who hasn't watched season 1 of Game of Thrones. But she, I finished the season. She goes, oh, you finished it. What did you think? And I'm like, Ned Stark's dead. There's fucking dragons. I need to figure out what the fuck is happening. <laughs> and there was someone else sitting in the restaurant, like two booths behind me. And I heard them like spit out their drink. <laughs> <I was like laughs> so my big thing is, and I've said this to Teddy. I was like. Ned Stark was the best part about that fucking show. Yeah, and well, that's why it cut. Look, man, they I was they, so pissed. I didn't want to watch any more of that shit. They fucking Drew Barry more in the beginning. Of screamed you, man. I was like, not okay. But but we should have known it was Sean Bean. That yeah. motherfucker doesn't make it through anything. I was blown away that it was on season. It was about to air season seven, and I had no clue that Ned Stark wasn't going to make it till the end of the first season. <laughs> I was watching. It, I was like, dude, I'm with you too. Fuck? I watched. I I watched the first season before HBO Max, so it must have been HBO Go, and I was streaming it, and I also owned the first uh, season on Blu-ray, and, and I ended up watching it through, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and, and I was really upset, because he really was the, the best character in that show. Like, yeah, uh, uh, Dinklage is awesome, don't get me wrong, but like, I don't know, Ned Stark was like a warm blanket, and so, they just fucking took his so head off I'll, I'll tell you this much though ned stark don't the spoil death, it no no no. but like the death <laughs> get there eventually the death of ned stark really turns Arya into like the best character because yeah, she becomes so like hooked on vengeance for that moment but like there there are those people that you cling to most of the time when you're watching game of thrones i've learned i'm i'm way less cheering for people i like to survive and more cheering for the, <laughs> for the death people of people i like. hate yeah like oh man when are, when's like, someone going to take care of this like, motherfucker and i don't <laughs> like, i honestly rewatching season 1 is kind of torturous because the older sister is the fucking worst <laughs> oh and she that show the i'm sure a million people have told you this but the way that that show makes you fall in love with characters that you think are absolutely irredeemable so when eventually you first, I'll, I'll i'll be okay with her because oh, sansa is a fucking badass by the time that series she is over sucks in the oh she season. sucks but that's but that's again the death of ned stark unlocks different yeah. things in every single one of his kids from that point and they like all become so dead set on vengeance for their well, the father killing of her fucking dog didn't unlock yeah anything. no <laughs> i mean that's it was she the didn't killing, do anything and then yeah, they kill the dog it was the killing of aria's <laughs> dog that's why she didn't care but yeah. <laughs> no um, she let aria's dog go that, oh, uh, aria right. aria let her dog go and they're like well there's another dog 
<laughs> he's like, wait, I what? don't think that's how punishment works. <laughs> All right. So speaking of speaking Sorry, of yeah, dogs, yeah, speaking ahead. of dogs, dogs, this one came up, and yeah. again, I I don't have anything beyond a very minor childhood memory of this show. Yeah, but I'm going to read exactly what this person wrote in the blog. Go for it. Wishbone. <laughs> Uh, Jesus, considering that Wishbone, that yeah, considering that Wishbone was one of the few PBS shows, along with Reading Rainbow and Between the Lions, that got kids into reading books, it would have been nice to see an episode involving Charles Dickens' The Christmas Carol, <gasps> with the show's title character playing the role of thing? Bob Cratchit. I'm ha- I have to Google this. Hold yeah, on. I was like, dude, because again, like Wishbone. Am I going to sit down and binge watch Wishbone if no, it's on a streaming I'll watch that site? episode. Yeah, if you're like, hey, there's a Christmas episode of Wishbone. I'm like, well, thank God I got a Christmas podcast as an excuse to sit down and watch Wishbone. Yeah, man. I, look, I, I'll i put this out there right now because it's not on this list. So I assume there is a Christmas episode. If there's a fucking Christmas episode of Arthur, like we should fucking watch that shit. Like, I can there's, guarantee there's, there's some great PBS Arthur. shows that I have not thought about in decades. You're damn that I right there have. is. Arthur's perfect fucking Christmas. There we go. Let's watch that soon. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell but yeah, I mean, yeah. I've got nothing beyond like Wishbone is very adorable. As a kid who didn't have cable, we leaned on PBS a lot growing up. So 55 I watched five minutes. It. What? Yeah, that's dude, a lot it's, of, an, it's an hour. <laughs> that's a lot of time to hang out with that aardvark. But I guess <laughs> it takes a lot of Arthur. You dude. know, it, it's tough to have a perfect Christmas in only 22 minutes. There's a lot of prep that goes sure into that. <laughs> but um, that there won't be any child poops or farts in this one. <laughs> Who knows? This could be the one where Arthur got real edgy. Is this the one where he hits his sister? Wasn't that a meme Smack. for a while? There, well, <laughs> okay. there was, I forget, there was like a couple things where like Arthur made some wild references yeah. to shit. <laughs> like, I, I want to say here, let's see, Arthur weird references. Oh my God. Yeah, they spoofed South Park on an episode one time. That's right, they yeah. did. Holy shit. I haven't thought. Of, oh, my God. You are unlocking memories. I forgot I had. See, there's man. an Arthur wiki that has a full list of parodies. <laughs> Fuck, man. They parodied Children of the Corn. Do we need to start an Arthur podcast? Maybe. <laughs> they Arthur did a parody. The they did a Beavis and Butthead parody. They they did multiple Beavis and Butthead parodies. Pea Brain and Nuthead. <laughs> this is insane to me. <laughs> wow like, why do they do it like, i don't know like, i i i feel like i need to do a deep dive on here's, arthur to see who wrote here's the craziest one right because okay, like go for it i'm naming some like cultural yeah points right like i'm as i'm scrolling here i'm saying like dexter's laboratory mighty yeah, Morphin power rangers <laughs> twilight zone like whatever okay i get to the bottom of those lists dr giggles no close <laughs> Dr. Katz, professional therapist. What? You know, that reference point that any kid watching <laughs> Arthur would definitely know. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> the funniest thing is like, I, I mean, I did watch some of that show, but my reference point for that show is the fact that there's a commercial for the DVD on the South Park Christmas special DVD. Yeah. That's it. Oh, there That's is just... a Dr. There's a Dr. Cat's Christmas episode. So we'll uh, I'm down for that. We'll too, watch man. that at some point. Um, Back to our our discussion. I'm going to switch gears over to Christmas specials that I wish were better. OK. And this one kind of had a thing that redeemed it. Um, I believe it's something we've talked about on the show actually the christmas special of this re- redeemed version of it i want a new star wars holiday special a live I, action one i not because the lego one fucking ruled lego one rules and look we're gonna eventually have to watch oh yeah i want i mean like we're gonna have to sit down and watch the two hour and maybe oh my god so I here's want to. <laughs> so here's here's what i think is gonna have to happen yeah, i've, I've been yeah. thinking about this a lot okay as much as I would love for us to do some live episodes of Christmas 365, I, I, I don't think as much as we have some really cool loyal listeners, I don't think that we have yeah. a, a listenership that's going to really pack a bar or pack a, no, a, a room. But but we're we getting do, there. Come on, spread the word. We're Let's getting there. But, do it. but we do have the Internet. And I think that there are certain things that it's like, you know what? Maybe this is like a live stream special. So I'm thinking if we do the Star Wars holiday special at some That's point. A live stream special. That should be us watching it live with the audience 
and then it. recording the episode Fuck immediately it. after with everything I'll fresh do. in our head. I am down. Let's okay. do it. You, yeah, you so, tell me the date. I'll tell you that date doesn't work for me. And, and then, then we'll, we'll and then <laughs> and then we'll, we'll finally and, and then we'll finally solidify a day that works for both of us. And then it'll become your turn to pick something. And you'll be like, I want to talk about this Star Wars thing. And then I'll say, all right, well, then I'll just I'll boot this one back a couple months. <laughs> so, fuck off. So was, um, in case you guys were wondering our, the method to our madness. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I think a couple weeks ago we said we were going to finally watch a movie that Matt suggested. <laughs> we still have it. So. <laughs> yeah, but well, but Star Wars, I, I really want, I think they, I think there's a good opportunity to give us some more Life Day stuff. I enjoy the concept of Life Day, and I think that the Lego Star Wars special knocked it out of the park with their weird, obscure references, and I would love for them to give it another live action go. And I think it's got to be they they have to know. Like they 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 can't treat it seriously. Like it has to be it has to be goofy. It has to be self-referential and it also can't be two fucking hours long. Yeah, I mean that is <laughs> It needs to be one. like a good 30 minutes. <laughs> not even 23 minutes. 30 yeah. with commercials. Yeah. In and out. That's it. Give me fucking 15 minutes. Give me a 15 minute I, Star Wars I, short. I, I think that's fair. And and I, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm out of major ones that I want to talk about. I feel like that's a good ending point is just getting a good Star Wars holiday Fuck special, yeah, unless dude. you have anything else to bring up. But um, the only other one that I saw on the list that like, I think it would be a shitty episode, honestly, but for the podcast, someone called out that Twin Peaks never had a Christmas episode. I saw that. Yeah. And I think that that could be, we definitely looked at the same blog post. Yeah, we totally did. Because the only other things I didn't mention were the two BBC shows that they Yeah, had. that I don't, I, I, I've heard of Spaced. I've never watched it. Oh, Black Books is fun, but. Okay, I've never watched it. <laughs> yeah, one. we've read the same article. I think. um, I Topic think, not really heavily written no. about, apparently, on the internet of shows will... that don't have Christmas episodes. <laughs> no, but, but when you Googled that, did you get a shit ton of articles about the best Christmas yep, episodes? Yeah, that's all Google gave me. So you must have made a typo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, um, I think the, the one I'm going to end on one okay. and it's it's pro- it's going to be a controversial one because the office had amazing Christmas specials. Mm-hmm. 30 Rock had Luda Christmas. Yep. Uh, I think Community had great Christmas specials. Agreed. I would say the one that doesn't stick out in my mind and I'm sure the, the, the specials is fine. I would say Parks and Rec the the Christmas special does not stick out in my head. Yeah, I I couldn't even tell. I'm going to search this. Now I literally I had to Google it. it I was like, do did Parks and Rec have a Christmas special? And yeah, Leslie Nope's dressed up as an elf, so it's it exists, but it doesn't stick out in my head. And I think that era of television gave birth to like kind of the next generation of good Christmas episodes. And they had three. They had three. There were three of them. Three Parks and Rec Christmas episodes. Season two, four, and five. Am I going out of my mind? I remember, <laughs> and the- I love that show. I've rewatched. <laughs> yeah, I love the show. show with them. And and like the Halloween ones stick out in my head. I love the when they throw a party together. But I so <laughs> Dylan. I yeah. searched Park and Recreation Christmas special. Did we I obviously cover get... them? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, Decider.com in 2019 ran an article called Why I'm Bummed Parks and Rec Never Did a Good Christmas Episode. Okay, <laughs> so this isn't all right, just so we're us. not wrong. Okay, all right, I was worried. I was waiting for, honestly, I was waiting for Teddy to come around the corner here and be like, fuck you, Parks and Rec had the best Christmas specials. <laughs> I will say this reflection has like, reminded me of we're about a year and a half into this yeah right into this project just about two years in november yeah and um i kind of regret the way we did a few things in the beginning like Like when you had us watch all three uh all all five yeah yeah like that (laughs) that kind of bums me out because i'm like i feel like we could have gotten really good episodes off of each of them I agree. And, and things like that. And I, I really like kind of how we've evolved. And that's how podcasting goes, man. You you evolve and, and you become a new. And I want to I do want to thank everybody that is listening in the middle of June 
in 95 degree weather. I know it, we're not up there. We're not up there where we were in November, December, man. Oh, man, but, but man, December, I felt like we were Mark Marin. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I appreciate the people out there listening when I get messages from from even friends who are like, hey, just checked out this episode. Fantastic. Listen, that's that's why we do this and and reflecting on on these conversations with you, man. And I know I struggle with with getting us a, a schedule down. It'll open up a lot more once school's out. But man, it is a blast talking to you when when we do this, man, for sure. I agree. And I'm going to throw one more thing out there, actually. Go for it. I searched, is there a Stranger Things Christmas episode? And there's a link to a Stranger Things Christmas, a short from 2016, which is a Peanuts Stranger Things mashup video. I'm down um, to watch that shit. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I think we could do an episode on that, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe we, when yeah, the... Maybe did, um, we'll plan that for July when uh, when 4.5 finally gives us those last two... Uh, five hour long episodes or whatever i haven't watched it yet oh i'm not spoiling anything they they split you watch it i've watched the first they split season four into two parts but the second part is literally just two episodes that are over two hours long it's it's, it's, it's a season so basically we're just dropping two seasons this year are they (laughs) they they've already paid they've already been booked for season five right season the fifth season will be the final season that's insane like still to me spoilers for up to season three i have not seen season four but but here on if you're interested in fucking stranger things you've seen up to season three by now i thought that would have been a great way to end it before we got to the stinger really did play out like a series finale and that's so that's my only complaint with season four is like i agree with you like you have yeah. this big, beautiful build up to a heroic sacrifice yeah. that before the episode's even fully done, you're already letting us know, hey, we just emotionally manipulated you. But what's also yeah. kind of bumming me the fuck out with the current season is like, it's not like everything that involves him is the weakest part of the entire fucking season. It's like, so it's yeah. not even like you did this for like what is turning out to be a stellar storyline. Like, you emotionally manipulated me for what is the thing that keeps holding up the momentum of the season. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I mean, that's that's my thing. And I think that's almost why I've put off watching season four. You um, should you I, should watch it because all of the other all of the other pieces make up for it. It just becomes yeah. really frustrating because you're like, man, if you just like kept Hopper dead, like yeah. these episodes would be normal length for starters because they'd all yeah, be under an but- hour. And then B, it would be like all killer, no filler. But like with the Hopper stuff, that is the filler portion yeah. of every episode. No, that day came. I think it was the last day that Teddy stayed home with COVID. And I, I that was the day I went back to work or the day after I went back to work. And I came home. She's like, I've watched them all. I'm like, all right. Yeah, no, I, uh, I told her she could watch them. But like I got home and I was like, yeah, but throw that fucking Obi-Wan on, bro. Yeah. I, I dodged I had to dodge Obi Wan and Stranger Things spoilers for four days um, successfully, uh, and then on Memorial Day I was like, all right, let's fucking yeah, do fuck this. Yeah, dude. Did you watch <laughs> like, the Did you watch the latest episode? Of I haven't watched the latest, but I know that Zach oh, Braff is in it. So good. Though the original trilogy, they set up Vader to be this ultimate fucking killing machine, and he didn't really get to do that. Even though, like, yeah, they destroyed a planet, but that was more Moff Tarkin than it was Vader. Yeah. I will say everything Disney has done with Darth Vader has made him the biggest prick in the galaxy. Yeah. The absolute worst fucking thing to exist. So I will say anybody that's a fan of Darth Vader... Dude, you are getting your fill with this shit, and it fucking yeah. rules. I'm invested in my own podcast shit more than I'm yeah. invested in any other thing happening in this pop culture sphere right now. Which I am invested in it, the wars. I'm sorry, I fucking love Star Wars. I mean, I mean, no, you do. I'm like, I'm like Ukraine. <laughs> 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 that's how we end this yeah. I, I, D- dylan is not invested in ukraine he is invested in star wars though he is invested so. in star wars all right well uh happy christmas special dylan <laughs> happy life day matt whoa. oh whoa
You're listening to the Geekscape Network. You're listening to the Geekscape Network.